there, family. I am your Uncle Opie. I am a Mormon. I am on probation. And I am addicted to Robitus, and I love y'all for real. Do you guys remember the film Idiocracy? Idiocracy was an insanely good movie produced in 2005 by Mike Judge. Also produced Office Space, Beavis and Butthead, and King of the Hill. In fact, during the intro of Idiocracy, we see a montage of a man named Cleavon and his mating habits. And in his family tree, we get a shot of Hank and Bobby Hill. When this cult classic first hit theaters, it was unfortunately not as popular as it deserved to be. In more recent years, it has been widely talked about due to its claimed predicted accuracy pertaining to the world now and our current state of affairs. The storyline is mainly set in the year 2505. It begins in the year 2005, when a lazy military employee named Joe, played by Luke Wilson, and a prostitute named Rita, played by Maya Rudolph, take part in an army experiment that goes haywire and traps them in the future, where, despite the time difference, Rita the prostitute constantly thinks that her pimp upgrade is going to find her. Everyone in this version of the future speaks a lingo mixed with street slang and television dialogue. Buddy's clothes features advertisements, and Carl's Jr. seems to have at least somewhat of a hand in government affairs. Affairs. Butter Ruckers is now called <laughs> corporate and commercial logos have been changed except for, weirdly enough, Fox and Fox News, hinting that they may have possibly had a hand in the world being this way in the year 2505. The economy and society is suffering from a worldwide garbage strike, which results in mountains of trash everywhere. Characters in the future kind of don't trust water, so they use a drink called Brondo to water plants with. In their words, it has electrolytes, and electrolytes is what plants crave. Brondo is basically a knockoff version of Gatorade, which was a fictional drink during the time of this movie, but has since become a reality thanks to a company called James Kirby. As part of this movie, nay, this masterpiece, is came down to costumes, the wardrobe department, which was led by Leanne Amos Houselman. They didn't have a lot of funds, but they wanted shoes that looked both stupid and futuristic at the same time. At that time, there was a virtually unknown startup company which was producing boat shoes that were both non-slip and quick-drying. This company is now called Crocs and they are mainly sold to stay-at-home dads and inmates. Made that last part up, but it's not actually not true.